The first question on the WhatsApp is from Riyadh from Bangladesh. And he's asking the question, why Allah punishes people in the grave as there is a possibility that this person may get acquitted on the day of judgment. Similarly, a person who is not punished in the grave may be found to be guilty on the day of judgment. The question posed by Riyaz is that why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punish the person in the grave? Maybe on the day of judgment he will be acquitted. So won't it be injustice? And maybe you will not punish a person in the grave and he may be held responsible on the day of judgment. So isn't this wrong? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, that Kullu nafsin every soul shall have a taste of death. And your final recompense will be on the day of judgment. And anyone who is saved from the fire and is admitted into Jannah, into the garden, has achieved the purpose of this life. For this life is goods and chattels of deception. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, is telling us that the final recompense will be on the day of judgment. That means the final hisab kitab, the final tally of the reward and punishment will be on the day of judgment. That means if you have to get a reward, you may get part in this dunya, in this world, part in the grave, part in the hereafter. Or if you have to get some punishment, you may get part in this world, part in the grave, part in the hereafter. But the hereafter is the final recompense. The final tally of all these three put together would be what you deserve as a reward or as a punishment. The question asked by Riyas that what if you are punished in the grave and on the day of judgment you are acquitted, so won't it be injustice? Or if you are not given a punishment in the grave and you are held responsible on the day of judgment, won't it be wrong? What brother Riyadh is asking a question may be correct for a normal judge or if you and me are a judge where you are human beings. He fails to realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ilm gab Do you think Allah doesn't know what is the reward every human being deserves and what is the punishment every human being deserves? For you and I who are normal human beings, we may not be aware. Or if you and I are a judge, then we will not know until we hear the lawyers and we know what's happened. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Maliki Muddin. He is the master of the day of judgment. He has ilmah gab. He has knowledge of the future. He knows exactly what will a person deserve as a reward and what will a person deserve as a punishment. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that for an unbeliever, whatever good deed he does, his reward will be in this dunya. He will not get any reward in the akhirah, in the life after death. As for the punishment, it may be part here, part in the grave, part in the hereafter. As for the believers, both the reward and the punishment can be part in this world, part in the grave, part in the hereafter. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ilm gab. Allah knows that this person will get 50 points of punishment. So he may give 10 points in this world, 20 points in the grave and maybe 20 points in the akhirah. It cannot be possible that a person receives 10 points punishment and Allah will give 20 points punishment in the grave. It's impossible. Allah has ilm gab. He has knowledge of the future. He cannot do such a thing. You and I as a human being can do that. So this question is logical for a human being, but not for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he has ilm gab, he knows exactly what is the total punishment every human being will deserve, what is the total reward that he'll deserve. And all these three put together is the total punishment he deserves. And that's the reason it's mentioned in the Quran, that on the day of judgment, no one will object to the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
neither the Muslims, neither the non-Muslims. Even the kafir, even the unbelievers, even the non-Muslims who would be put in the hell, they will never say that they have got injustice. They will only ask Allah that why don't you give us one more chance and Allah will say it is too late. This was in brief the answer to the question.